Good morning or even good afternoon everybody. Welcome to today's Facebook Live. I hope you're doing all right and looking forward to the Easter weekend. Uh, today I'm here with Callum from Layby and he's going to be talking about how to increase uh, your sales using alternative payment methods such as buy now pay later options of which Layby can help you with that. So Callum do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Yes, absolutely. And, and afternoon, everyone. And, and Rachel, thank you for inviting me along. So my name's Callum Mackay and I'm head of marketing at Layby. Layby is a New Zealand buy now, pay later uh, company, been in the UK for about two years. And I joined um, the company shortly after its launch in, in the UK to, to help us conquer the British market. And as uh, many of you will know, New Zealand sort of rode out the uh, pandemic a little bit better than others, but I've been left holding the fort here um, in the UK for Labour, which is good fun. Wonderful, thank you very much. Um, so today we're going to start talking uh, about what you can do as a shop owner to increase your sales at the checkout point or even before. Um, so if you do have any questions for Callum about buy now, pay later options or increasing your sales using them, please make sure to pop them in the comments uh, of this video and we will get round to them at the end. Um, so I'll just start out by sort of saying every business owner obviously strives for their business to do well and you all want to know what the magic formula is. So if you're new to selling online or if you're a seasoned seller, um, then hopefully this live will give you lots of information that you can apply to your own business. So Callum, what in your opinion is the key to increasing your sales? Absolutely. Great question to start off with. And I think actually, if I'm thinking from a, from a, someone that's new to running their own business or selling online, or even someone that's been at it for quite a number of years, actually the first thing that springs to mind is probably hard work and hard graft. And, and with that, there is not one magic fix. And so within that, I think, how do you really win? How do you get cut through? Is really looking at what are your customers wanting, however they're wanting to interact with your brand and trying to make sure, almost remove the reasons why someone might not shop with you, particularly if we'll be talking mainly about e-commerce today. So they've already come to your website. So then it's about removing any reason why they're not going to make that purchase. And, and later on today, Rachel, obviously we'll chat through about where payment sits into that and how that can help. But I hope, I don't know if that answer fits, fits the question or not, but there's no one magic answer there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it definitely depends on what your products, what products you're selling, who your market is, your target audience. Um, and there are loads of different factors that go into it. And obviously there are things that you can do on your online shop or on your website to help the, with conversion. So removing any friction points and things like that. Um, but let's just move on to um, payment, alternative payment mm -hmm. methods. So can you tell us a little bit more about how alternate payment methods such as lay by came to be? Absolutely. So lay by um, as, a, as a way of paying for things and, and the market in Australasia is a couple of years, a good few years ahead of where the UK is. But the genesis of where lay by came about was an old practice which didn't happen online, it happened offline. In the UK, it was called layaway, which I have to confess, I wasn't around at that time, but maybe a couple of three, four decades ago, um, whereby you would go into a shop, you wanted an item, say a pair of jeans, and you'd put that item um, behind the checkout and you'd say to the, the, the guy or girl selling it, I want to buy that item, but I, I want to pay it off in installments. And what you would do is you'd go into that shop every week or every however often and pay for that item in regular installments. And effectively, with e-commerce, lay-by, L-A-Y, B-U-Y, is a modern-day version of that. So we're enabling the consumer to make small increment payments. And the great thing and the big difference with what happened decades ago is the customer still gets the item immediately. That's really great. And even better for e-com merchants, everybody listening here, is lay-by will pay you overnight in the banking system. So you get paid straight away. So ties up any cash flow, customer gets the goods. And then lay by, um, you might wonder, where do we make our money? We have a small commission fee that the retailer would pay for effectively um, facilitating that, that service. But that's kind of where lay buys come from. So that's the background of lay by. And we launched in New Zealand first and came to the UK two years ago. And I think that alternative payments 
and I don't know, don't know whether there'll be any questions later, but we have seen, and it's widely reported, World Pay does a big report um, in terms of who's using and who's paying with different um, ways of paying, credit cards, people are assuring them. People aren't using credit cards, particularly younger users, like they used to do. And so you are now seeing different forms of payments taking that place effectively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think, especially uh, for myself, I've seen uh, sort of buy now, pay later being more widely adopted in the past year or two. Uh, and I think with people trying to be a bit more fiscally conscious about their spending, um, and just becoming a bit more responsible with, with their finances, Buy Now Pay Later allows you to kind of get those larger price items without breaking the bank and without going into debt, uh, as long as you keep up with yes. the, the installments, of course. Um, so why do you think that they grew in popularity, especially last year, we saw right. a kind of skyrocket? I mean, it, you're absolutely right. And I think when I first started working with Layby, even two years ago, which is hardly any time ago, trying to even explain what, what Layby was or what Buy Now, Pay Later was. If you said Buy Now, Pay Later two years ago, you're thinking of that furniture item that you might or that new um kitchen that you're buying and you you pay later but actually there's an interest element and so with the more modern day buy now pay later such as lay by a big key thing is that we're interest free so i think one of the reasons it's grown in popularity is people can access credit and know that they won't be charged interest so i think that's really important i think that another reason is that they appreciate customers appreciate the ability to pay in smaller, more manageable chunks. So with Layby, we did a lot of research before launching in the UK about how often a customer budgets. And one of the insights was that 29% of people budget daily, 31% budget weekly, and then the other groups budget fortnightly or monthly. And you might be surprised by that because many people in the UK, UK get paid monthly. But if you think about as a, even maybe yourself, you get your monthly pay packet and then whatever's left over after rent and your car or mortgage, you kind of divvy that up into more manageable chunks. And so I think that's really helped as well. And then, of course, Banner Pay Later is only successful if you can use it in places. And it's become hugely popular, certainly within certain retail sectors. So fast fashion, athleisure, health and beauty were really quick to ad adopt buy now pay later and the retailer loves it because it's it's offering the customers another way to pay so more choice for the customer that's a, a key part to it and because the in our case with lay by the weekly repayment is lower and we have a couple of sales tools that can help um, online merchants with that but because that's lower it can enable the customer to maybe get that extra item that they may not have been able to afford at, at that very point in purchase so i think there's a couple of re that you know a couple of reasons for its popularity mm -hmm. yeah definitely i think particularly in sort of like the younger markets as well like you were saying with sort of like beauty and places like asos i know i use buy now pay later on on asos because it's just a bit more convenient especially if you're online shopping sometimes you know you're going to return half of it so you you know rather mm -hmm. than paying for all of it and then having to get a refund you can just send back what you don't want and just pay for what you keep and, and it kind of simplifies the process Mm. And um, actually, just just to jump in there, just to touch on um, the younger, and it is true that people that are using Layby are younger, but our average age is 33 years old. And right. we've kind of got two distinct groups of customers. We've got a group of customers that are in their early, early mid 20s. That might be you, Rachel. And they're starting their first job. So they want some new outfits to sit behind their Zoom cameras in and look, look, look nice. And then the other group, we've got um, an older group, mid 30s to early 40s that are typically we can see from what they're buying are young families buying essential items for their family. So it, it, it is younger definitely younger than a credit card but it's not super young we've got a, quite a broad range of customers so mm -hmm. yeah and I think um a little bit off topic from our questions here but I think um it's kind of changing the landscape of online payments as well especially with credit cards sort of being phased out a little bit in the younger generations mm. especially me particularly I don't particularly like credit cards and I know a lot of 
people my friends they don't either they would prefer this sort of option so I feel like it's definitely changing the way people are spending their money rather than using things like credit cards that would have an interest on them and things like that so it's very interesting to see what's what's changing and spending habits and things like that and obviously that impacts a lot of online merchants um and how they sell what payment gateways they use etc so it's quite an interesting topic to be Mm. looking at um speaking of that do you have any sort of inkling as to if customers are more likely to check out if there's another payment method such as a buy now pay later option uh for large purchases or smaller purchases you know absolutely yeah I think it's a really great question. And I think that the it comes back down, if, if I'm operating an e-commerce site, it's about consumer choice. So making sure that for the consumers you're wanting to check out on your, your site, which is presumably everybody visiting, have you got the payment options there for your real variety of customers? So you'll get many people that want to pay with PayPal, you know, it's obviously got a presence online, massive presence in the UK. You'll get some people that want to pay with their debit card, but then there's a huge growing number of customers. As an example, Layby has over, well, not over, approaching a million active customers amongst our database. That's a million customers that did not, I can tell you two years ago, didn't exist. It's really fast growing. And there's a lot of people desiring to, you know, to pay on a, on a split payment basis. So I think that's a, a real key, I guess, challenge for any e-commerce um, businesses, have you got the payment methods that your customers want to pay with them? Sometimes they don't even know they necessarily want to pay with it immediately, but then suddenly you'll just see um, suddenly, you know, a move towards that that method of payment. And whether there'll be any questions, I'm sure some people listening might ha- already have one buy now, pay, pay later provider. So they may be thinking, right, I've ticked that box. Why would I bother with, with anything else? And I think the challenge to that would be well, you're offering Visa and MasterCard, you'd never just offer one of them. And each buy now pay later provider has something different. So lay buys weekly, there are obviously there's a monthly one in the market, some people might be aware of. So have you got that payment method to suit what your customers are looking for? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, And I think also as well, especially if you're an online retailer, not having an option like buy now pay later whatever provider you kind of go for I think it will eventually uh, damage your conversion rate on checkout Mm -hmm. Um, do you want to expand on that anymore yeah I mean we've got we've got customers that are shopping so our average customer is now shopping with us twice a month which is incredible and again we've only been around um, two years so that you know, there's that group of customers that are becoming almost loyal to the payment method and, and we'll, we'll come to lay by. We're almost less a payment method and more of a marketing service now because we're driving all of our site visits and we have a really great shopping directory and people were driving traffic to the retailer site as well. And I think you're right, people, even other innovations beyond lay by, dare I say, with the, the digital wallets and the likes of Apple Pay, how easy is it now with these options and with lay by if a customer's registered with lay by again, it's a couple of clicks to make that purchase. That again is going to help with that, that driving um, conversion rates, which is so important. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, so I just kind of want to, I know we, we, we all kind of had a bit of a terrible year last year, but uh, I kind of just want to jump back a year and sort of, look into what kind of impact the pandemic has had on that because obviously for EKM ourselves this time last year we were seeing a huge uptick in our customers sales turnover because of the transition to moving online with everything being shut um and you know e-commerce in the past year has just grown exponentially it's been been crazy um but do you think that ban our pay later options have kind of been pushed forward by the pandemic the short answer would would be certainly they have because in the UK buy now pay later is synonymous with online sales and lay by is available offline as as well so we have a a digital mastercard product but that's less relevant for, for for you listening at the moment but the fact that we're so present on e-commerce has meant absolutely this way of paying has increased 
as a result, we'd never talk about benefiting because, I mean, that's, that's such a horrible thing to say, but the reality is that the business climate has shifted. But equally, if anybody's worrying, you know, people, buy now, pay later is credit. And that lay by, we never shy away from that. And later, if anybody's got any questions about um, the Financial Conduct Authority, did a review into it, we're really involved with that. Happy to touch on that later. But we actually um, saw, we did not see an increase in people maybe struggling to repay during that pandemic period. And, and if anybody did, um, then we had a really generous and liberally applied hardship policy as well. But we've seen that sustain because the more people that then shop with buy now, pay later, they discover more. We have special promotions for the customers so it can really get them quite involved and, and, and enjoy that. So we've sort of seen that grow and we're doing quite a lot of research in terms of consumer habits. And we're always speaking with our customer base. And a lot of the trends, Rachel, I'm sure you, you've seen the same, are pretty much here to stay. And I know there's a lot of talk about the high street reopening in a couple of weeks. And I'm, I'm looking forward to going back, but I'm not going to be rushing back to, to, to go there. Yeah, yes. Um, I think we also did um, a survey recently in February of our customer base, asking them a variety of questions. But one of them was about buy now, pay later options, if they'd already adopted it or they planned to. Um, and a good chunk of our customers already had, but there was definitely room for a lot of them to adopt it. Um, but there were some that perhaps weren't so keen. Yes. Um, so is there anything that you could say to kind of ease the worries about adding these buy now, pay later options onto their shops? So I think that firstly, you can, the reality is you can add one on and, and, and with so many integration options now, they're almost integration free. So it's not a lot of hard work at, at the back end. And I would say you could give it a try. What, what have you got to lose um, by giving it a try for even six months? Of course, we've not had any customers coming off because the, what is there to lose by 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 you know, coming off, but to give some ideas. So we'll touch on how can you really use buy now, pay later to drive your sales? How do you use it as a marketing tool? So one of the key things that lay by has is what's called the price breakdown. And so that, and the price breakdown is a little bar that appears alongside items and the, 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 and the price of the item that shows the weekly repayment costs. So if it's a 60 pound item, it will say, or 10, or 10 pound, a week with lay by so the customers immediately seeing that value and what that does is that that helps at the the earlier on in the shopping journey that you are offering this effectively service this additional benefit for your shoppers the more likely they are to convert so i'd say that's the one key thing if you're going to offer buy now pay later make the most of it and you can do a trial and, and depending on how much you want to invest you can do a b testing and see where the conversion increases if you get buy now, pay later, you just plonk it in at the end at the checkout as another option. You're really not getting the benefits from it. And I think the, you know, what can you look forward to as a retailer and what do we have proven stats on? One, increased AOV and conversion at checkout. And we typically see increases of 30 to 40 percent across our merchant portfolio um, once lay is live and we've got some examples one of them's a greeting card store where the AOV is like 10 times higher but that's that's probably a standout you can also access a large fast growing diverse customer base so in the UK I mentioned before we've got close to now a million um, active customers shopping with us and you can lean on and it's not, not just lay by will do this but Buy Now Pay Later providers are really keen to promote the retailers we have. So Lay has got, the date's not announced yet because it's kind of a, a secret, but in a few weeks, there'll be a special day where Lay is really promoting um, customers. We've recently also run other incentives. So really take advantage of, of that as well. Um, and, and that's kind of the key advice I would do if someone's considering Lay Buy or, or Buy Now Pay Later. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, remember, if you do have any questions for Callum about buy now, pay later options or how to use it to increase your sales, let us know in the comments. And if you are an EKM customer, we actually have a guide on how to install Layby in our support centre. Um, so let's sort of move on to the, the increasing the sales part. Obviously, that's the important, probably the, the golden aspect for most shop owners. 
Um, so how can buy now, pay later options such as lay by um, help increase sales? Absolutely. So I think coming back to the core part of buy now, pay later is and, and lay by is giving interest free credit to a shopper. And so the number one way that we help increase sales is by making that purchase more affordable by splitting the item into six easy payments. So that £60 item becomes £10 a week. Suddenly that customer is able to afford afford more than they may um, not have been able to. And we, we had a customer right into us um, in the UK prior to, to Christmas saying that they needed to buy their two kids winter jackets because obviously it's pretty cold. And they said, thanks to Layby, I couldn't afford a £120 purchase for them, but I could afford £20 a week. And that's an example of where someone's really used that. And it gave me sort of goose pimples when I read that. And you can have a look on our trust pilot. There's lots of really um, nice reviews on there of how people are using them. So I think that's the real key thing is you're making your items more affordable. So you'll increase your conversion because of that. You'll increase your average order value because you're, that customer is able to make that bigger purchase earlier on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely believe that, um, no, like, especially since last year, the selling online, the key to it is to give your customers the power. So giving them lots of options with your products, delivery methods, um, where to shop. So it doesn't necessarily need to be on your online shop. They can shop on your Instagram or through your Facebook feed yes. or even through your Google shopping ads. So it's giving them a choice. And it's the same for payment methods, in my opinion. I would much rather um, not have to, you know, stomach a very large purchase in one go if I have the option to split it out and I know I can mm. afford to do that. So it just eases the blow for consumers when they're looking at higher price ticket items um, and it just makes it easier to, to get them through that process, the checkout process, and essentially just remove some friction of, you know, it being a, a larger purchase. Um, so obviously with Layby, it's split into weekly payments yes. uh, rather than monthly as some other providers are. So what kind of shop owners do you expect to kind of benefit the most from introducing buy now, late, pay later options on their yeah. shop and why? Well, lay by, so we're split into weekly, but we have credit limits. So to give you an idea, our av and this, when you're listening to this, you might be curious. So our average transaction is £67. So if you're a retailer that maybe has a much higher average transaction, you might be saying, well, is lay by right for me? Our credit um, facility options start as low as £72. So when a customer signs up for lay-by, perhaps someone that doesn't have a, uh, a, a record in the credit bureau where we do a, a credit check, £72. But it goes all the way up to £720. And in addition to that, we have a facility called lay-by boost. So if you've, you've got a really high average order value and the customer is wanting to spend with you, they can boost their first that the amount of credit they have by making a higher initial payment so we've got a real flexibility there in terms of in terms of how our product would would work and i think to your point you were mentioning earlier rachel sometimes when you're making that higher purchase a higher amount of spend rather you just don't want to spend it all at once so psychologically you feel more comfortable with that um that that purchase being spread over some some weeks and lay by because we're splitting in six, and unlike some other providers, they'll be splitting in three or four or whatever, that amount is lower. The, the installment amount is lower as well with lay-by, which again can help with conversion because that customer is seeing that lower amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Um, one other aspect I um, have sort of heard rumblings about within online shop owners sort of concerns about this is um how it actually works behind the scenes because um i think when it first started to get introduced and people were kind of asking questions about it about how it works and things like that i think uh, i saw one person asking so if a customer buys a, a large value product um does the merchant then receive that full value for that mm. product or is it is paid in installments to the merchant so that is we always pay to every single transaction, we pay that full amount to the merchant through the banking system. I'm gonna say overnight, I think it's a couple of days if there's a bank holiday coming up like Easter, but we effectively are paying it just like if you were receiving it from 
your you know your your debit card payment. So yeah. great for retailers cash flow. We're also taking any of the fraud, not any, we're taking all of the fraud and all of the chargeback risk as well, because um, you know once the payment has been processed, um, successfully funds are guaranteed to the merchant. Yeah, I was just about to ask that actually about sort of like the security and who's responsible um, for the, you know, the credit, yeah. I suppose. So that all comes to lay by. So we're taking all of that, all of that risk. And and actually, may, maybe we can just touch on that lay by is um, our ambition. And what we are doing is to be the most responsible in the UK market. So what does that mean? It means that we are very clear we are a credit product just like a credit card is a credit product, we have a really um, seamless, but also uh, thorough consumer sign-up journey. And one of the parts of that is also we work with Experian. So we conduct a credit check, credit and identity check so that every customer we're signing up is being independently checked. And we typically, to give you an idea, because some people might be worried, will a customer apply for lay by and be rejected we do reject around 20 to 25 percent of our cust of potential customers that's not because we want to but that's because of that fraud that identity check that that comes comes in and that there's i guess it's a reality of payments but we have taken a very we're a family founded company family owned um, operated company we take that really really very seriously mm -hmm. Good, good. So if you were to give advice to any shop owners that might be wanting to apply or uh, add lay by to their online shops, what can they do to kind of avoid being uh, rejected? So uh, we don't typically reject a merchant. It's more, sorry, apologies. Oh, sorry. So customer applications, when their customer, regular customers signing up, then we will typically reject 20 to 25%. Merchant, we we do have a, there are a couple of criteria, but really, we really don't reject many merchants. The reason we might reject someone would be, for example, I doubt you have anybody selling guns on here and, and so forth. But there's a couple of product categories we don't sell. But by and large, um, you know, we're a broad church, shall we say, at Layby. We're, we're very accepting of, of most to all merchants. Yeah, that sounds great. Um one thing that I kind of wanted to also touch upon was a few months ago, I don't know whether you saw it, but Martin Lewis uh, was in the news talking about buy now, pay later options and how they should be regulated a little more than what they are now. Yes. Um, do you, does Labour have a stance on this? Do you have any plans? We absolutely do. So it's actually an area that I've been specifically sort of leading in the, in the UK, the, the charge on this. So we, as I, just mentioned we're family founded and family operated companies so what that means is it comes with a set of I don't want to use the word family values because that sounds really cheesy but it it comes with that extra level of responsibility and we have been since we came to the UK engaging with regulators engaging with um, HMT so Her Majesty's Treasury Department on what is the regulatory landscape look like and how can we protect consumers and so we uh, there was a review you may some people may have wasn't the most interesting news but it was called the Woolard review came out in in January and they presented back to the government a series of recommendations and some of those are in fact many of them lay by is already doing so for example we're the only provider in the UK to conduct a full credit check and that's something the review is saying should happen so that everybody has visibility of which customers are using these these products so that's that's something which we wholeheartedly welcome and we're regularly having meetings at the moment with treasury to work out how for the industry can we make these regulations work because they were originally built in 1974, probably before many people were born and not really fit for purpose. So that's going to come. Regulation probably will come in about 12 months, but lay is already working at the level we think the regulation will come in at already. And we effectively welcome that because it will uh, further solidify this, this product as a, as a method of pain. So definitely one to watch and there's lots of you martin lewis got an incredible following um so you know one should never um ignore what he has to say there mm -hmm. yeah definitely 
Okay, uh, and just moving on to our last question. Um, so what can shop owners do to help increase their sales using buy now, pay later methods? So the marketing side of it, yes. uh, trust signals on the website and things like that. Exactly. So one, number one is when you're in, if you're going to install buy now, pay later, my advice would be take advantage of the, the marketing materials you're, you're given to have on-site inclusions across the consumer journey. Otherwise, you're not really getting any of the benefits of buy now, pay later. What I mentioned before, the price breakdown, I would say, is the number one thing. Um, secondly, then it would be other on-site um, cues uh, around, you know, homepage or if you've got an offer on. It's another great way, actually, if depending on the retailer, different retailers have a stance towards discount sales. Obviously, lots happen. But having buy now, pay later, we found with a number of our retailers, if you don't want to necessarily discount or you want to offer added value, you can show in a social post or, or an email or whatever, the value from um, buy now, pay later to the customer without necessarily discounting it. So we have some more premium skincare brands that are selling pots of cream for 150 quid or something. And they're not of the mindset of necessarily discounting, but what they have done is said to the customer, that's only 30 pound a week. And then suddenly to the customer, the value is coming in that way. So that would be a, a key thing. But yeah, definitely. If you um, if you do sign up for Layby, which would be amazing. Um, we have a merchant support team. We're always working with our merchants, to try and, and support them. We have uh, very regular um, communication, social email to our customer database. Get involved in that. Um, certainly at Layby, we're a really hungry, fast growing company. We want to support the merchants. We recognise you don't wake up every morning thinking buy now, pay later, like we do. So you know, we're not number one in your priority list, but we will certainly be super responsive if, if you get in touch with us. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Callum. Um, so remember, if you do have any questions, pop them in the comments. I'm going to start going through a few of the questions that we've received on our Facebook channel. Um, so Mark asks, what sort of increase in sales do shop owners normally see from adding lay-by? So we'll see, um, it's difficult to talk in, a, in, an, ag, in a, an absolute amount because it will vary by retailer, but we typically see that 30 to 40% increase in average order value is some, it's somewhere where we will see it. And that will vary by retailer. I mentioned as a, a greeting, very famous greeting card company that saw a, a, you know, a 1000%, a 10 times increase, which was incredible. Um, but obviously they have a very low, normal average order value and suddenly with lay by people start customizing t-shirts and adding mugs in and stuff like that so yeah wonderful okay um and he also asks and i think this is a good point to touch upon as well um what do you do to stop people using credit like this who really shouldn't be using it really good question so this is where for lay by and we're the only provider in the uk that is conducting the full credit check when someone makes an application, they um, they go through a, a ID and affordability checking process. It's really quick, really swift. Uh, takes about thirty seconds, but that that then helps us. I don't want to say weed out, but that helps ensure that we're not offering credit to people that perhaps we shouldn't be offering credit to. And then, secondly, a really big safety mechanism is let's say we have offered credit to someone and they make a purchase. And they have to make their first payment at the point of purchase, which in, in, in itself acts as a bit of a, uh, a check to make sure they have got funds to pay for some of it. If they ever miss a payment beyond that first payment, so they miss a second payment, their account is immediately stopped. No, no interest charged, but their account is immediately stopped. They cannot spend anymore. And so that is, again, another mechanism in place as a safety blanket. So it's, you, we would be horrified to hear of a story in a newspaper or, or a blog of someone that's racked up and with lay by being possible racked up thousands of pounds with lay by like you've heard with credit cards it just it wouldn't be possible but also in our business model we it would be horrific to lay by because we wouldn't make any money from that either mm -hmm. yeah um okay i have a question from dawn who says will they ever Oh, just popped up. Will they ever introduce lay-by to a website that are selling sweets? Ooh, that's an interesting, as, as in, for example, yeah, sweets is in like, and 
candy and and sort of yeah. food products. So we, I depending on the the product, we do gift. We do food and drink from a gift perspective. So if you're you're a grocery store, we wouldn't because people using buy now pay later to buy something they've eat that they, they then go on and eat the next day and they've got to pay off over six weeks we're not comfortable with but and i we do have on our platform already some shops that do special hampers and so if you're a a, a store selling i don't want to say novelty sweets but you know it's lots of special sweets and chocolates for example we would not have a problem with that and, and if you have applied for lay by and you've had a problem please get in touch with me maybe you'll share my details Rachel at the end and get in touch because it shouldn't be a problem yeah wonderful um and our last question is from David who says our average order size is a thousand pounds is this workable for lay by so for an average order value of um a thousand pound and I don't know your business is really difficult to um to, to comment but it might be if if it if you were looking to use lay by on a on a purchase of a thousand pound then I'd say that that isn't our sweet spot however what I would also then say is do you have a group of customers that um, are purchasing at say the 500 pound mark or something because that's where you could maybe optimize for that group of customers so really depends on on what your business and there will be a niche for lay by or an opportunity for you to grow a different part of your business. But on a £1,000 purchase, now my CEO would be, he's probably not listening to this, he's in New Zealand, but he'd be saying, yes, of course you can. And you can, but I'm also realistic if someone's got a credit limit um, of £700, they, they can use lay by boost to use lay by on it, absolutely, but it's not our sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, thank you. Um, but, I don't see any more. Very interested, be very interested. We could do a trial with you, see what happens. So mm -hmm. there's a yep. challenge. Yeah. Okay. I just have one more silly question from from Mark. He says, "Is that a Lego R two D two behind you?" <laughs> it is, but it's not mine. It's my other half. But yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> yes, it is. Good. Okay. Um, I don't see any other questions from anybody uh, in the comments, but if you do have, have any questions after the live has ended, put them in the comments anyway, and we'll try and get back to you, whether it's e-commerce related or buy now, pay later related. Um, today, we've been talking about how to increase your sales with buy now, pay later methods with Callum from Layby. Uh, thank you very much for joining us and we will see you next month. Goodbye.